Oh, crap. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry from Control Premonitions with another Gun Talk uh, podcast here live Thursdays, 7 ish. I also said 7 p.m. Um, we had issues. We so, had a rush. Right, yeah, we had a rush. Yeah, we, yeah, we had some, some late clients. We uh, were able to show some stuff and make sure people got the right stuff. So, does it sound good? So sweet. It sounds good in my ear, too. Yes. I finally got to hear myself. Hi, buddy. I hope I sound good in both of your ears. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> is it turned up all the way? Here? Yeah, yeah. No, good? it is. Yeah? All right. I, I turned it down because at home it was a little loud. So, uh, tonight's topic, so for everybody that's just tuning in, is going to be your first gun purchase. Um, a lot of us have been in that. Some of them haven't been there yet. Believe it or not, we live in America, and there's still a lot of people that have never bought a gun before, even though it's a right uh, underneath the Second Amendment to own firearms. I'm going to take these off so it doesn't echo into the camera or the microphone. <laughs> um, tonight, as usual, we have Raul, a.k.a. Sal Central. Simone. Yeah. What's up, fool? What's up, pissy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we throw oh, up gang signs the fuck is it? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and then <laughs> tonight, uh, we also have Jonas again. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Right? And we have Buddy, Buddy, who's, who's our guard dog tonight, uh, watching over us as we, we were talking and making sure that nobody sneaks up on us at the door. So <laughs> he didn't bark much today. Oh, he he did it earlier. And then, hey. then we we kind of put him in the back, and he uh, I think he kind of figured. It, hopefully, he figured it out. Every so. loves it when you put Buddy in the back. Anyway, <laughs> so, first time gun purchase. Um, what was your first gun? That you bought, Raul? Here in the state or in, in the states? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> in this state. I don't. Whatever. What was your first gun purchase? It was a Ruger American Predator. Okay. Okay. Two two what? Three. Two two three. Yeah. Okay. How is it? Good. 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 Accurate. You like it? Accurate. Yeah. How was your experience when you bought your first gun? It was California, so. It was California, so shitty. Yeah. Had to wait 10 days and then all that extra bullshit. Only 10 days. That's good. I ain't that bad then. But some people have to wait 30 plus. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Right? Where? That they changed that law to 30 or whatever days. Where? I In Cali? California. Oh, it's, no. It's the, a... the wait time is still 10 days, uh -huh. but you could only buy one and... rifle or one handgun every 30 days. Okay. So Center that's fire. Okay. You could buy Center rim fire, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It, so it's, it's mm. just my dyslexia. Yeah. So I apologize for all you people that live in foreign territory. Uh, <laughs> what was your first gun? My first gun was a Beretta PX4 Storm, chambered 45. Um, it's horrible. They made those? It, it's fucking horrible. I've never... Wow. Yeah, it was horrible. It was the first gun I ever bought, first gun I ever sold. Um, <laughs> so I did a lot of research, and that's the stuff that we were going to talk about tonight. I have uh, information on that. I learned a lot about what to do, what not to do. <laughs> Um, I bought it from a store. I don't even know the name, so I'm going to tell you at least the area. It was uh, Blue Diamond. It was that gun store over there. It had a range on it. Oh, my God. That's – what year was that? It was a long time ago. I was about to say, that's so – Well, they switched ownerships. It's a different company now. Yeah, it's like third owner by now, I think. I think so. Yeah. And um, it was right around the Beretta coming out. I wanted to get a gun that was a good name brand. Uh, I wanted 45 because it's the Lord's caliber. And uh, it, it won it. two world wars. Mm -hmm. um, right. Right? And uh, we got people coming. Do we? Oh, shit. We got a lot of people on oh, there. Sure. There we go. Oh, shit. Sure. And uh, <laughs> Jonah's sexy talk. There we go. Hey. So <laughs> uh, uh, I wanted to get something good caliber. I wanted stopping power. And um, I didn't really. I, I wanted a gun that felt good. It had a lot of good reviews online. That was my first mistake, um, <laughs> was looking on Googles and um, looking at the stuff. It, it had a, a rotating barrel. So what that really did was nothing, uh, especially in forty five. It was horrible to shoot. I hated that gun. Um, so much, in fact, that I sold it for a lot less and I bought it for to a buddy Ooh. of mine just so I could get rid of it. He Damn. liked it. So, That's bad. Right. He's like, right. yeah, I love this thing. I actually stayed at his house for like two-something years. 
Yeah. Um, I I forgot about it. Yo, was that your RC car, buddy? No, no, oh. uh, that, that's Al. Uh, it was John Ventura. So, no shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. They stayed at his house. He's like, hey, do you want that that Beretta back? I'm like, what Beretta? He goes, that PX4 Storm. I'm like, oh fuck that. I don't want that fucking gun. <laughs> He's like, I'll give you 450 for a deal. He's like, yeah, it's been here for like two years. <laughs> what? Oh, I haven't missed it. You know? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I, that that was a horrible gun. I would have rather had a high point. Well, I do. So. Yeah, you literally do. Uh, I, I literally do have a high point over that. Um, but, yeah, so I was going to buy – there was a lot of features. So one of the things that we're going to talk about, <laughs> go over that too um, later. Features. But um, one of the guns I was going to buy was a USP-45. Ooh. They had oh one. Oh, my God. I know. How did you choose – never mind. Right. Never mind. So it was on the shelf. It was used. It was like 800 bucks or so. I oh, remember. I see why you chose the, the new one. I chose a – and I think that was even used too for like six though six six fifty something like that. I know, uh, still horrible choice. I, I had nightmares about it. Made bad decisions. I made a lot of bad decisions in my life. Uh, it's a good thing it's an X now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> hey, my bad. Fucking PX four stones. Anyway, so um, <laughs> oh god, horrible gun. Um, <laughs> so I was gonna buy the USP, and they had a gun range there. So the cool part about that gun range is they had a USP that had a suppressor on it. Ooh. I asked, I was like, hey, if you take off that suppressor, because it can shoot different, mm-hmm. you know, suppressor and suppress, and I shoot it, I'll buy the fucking ammo, I don't care. I'll buy this gun right now. I just want to see how it feels. So I always wanted a USP just because of, like, splinter cell and shit. Oh, you yeah. Know, growing it up. But at the same time, I was like, I don't know, it's 800 bucks. I don't know, nobody... Nobody really helped me. Nobody really groomed me. Nobody really, uh, yeah, it's, whatever. Whatever you want, dude. Whatever. You know, and, and, and we'll talk about gun store mentality here in a minute, too. And, oh, so and that's it, why that one closed. Right. No, uh, okay, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, I ain't, ain't saying anything. So, anyway, close. Right. <laughs> yeah, it, it was open for a long time. But, yeah. Um, it was the only standing building in Blue Diamond. Pretty much. <laughs> It's growing out there, though. It's growing out there pretty good. Yeah. 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 So, uh, what about you, Jonas? What was your first gun? My Mazin M44. That's it, right. Yeah, and it never left my possession ever again. I hear that that gun actually went through three owners in the Nevada Shooters Forum before it finally stayed in my hands. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I was friends with two of those guys, literally, as personal contacts for years yeah, yeah, yeah one of them moved to texas one of them started his own gun training company you've met him kirk yeah yeah, yeah. so oh. it was, it's an interest interesting backstory behind it but the way that i bought it was pre private party at the ffl law it was we kept it clean with bill of sale back parking lot at 9 p.m at the uh, bass pro shop and yeah. How much did I pay for that thing? Actually, I don't want to say prices because it will just make everyone about South Central's age cry. Right. <laughs> I'll say I paid about a quarter of the cost, and I paid them an extra $10 for the Redhead range bag that it came with because oh, it didn't wow. come with a bag. Really? <laughs> Jeez. He took a loss on the on the range bag just because he wanted to get out of his possession. No way. <laughs> That's bad. Right. That's bad. <laughs> but like that, uh, that with the M93s and then uh, even the M44s for the longest time, they were for, what, 100 bucks, a big five? Oh, the M44s, it used to be at a low at 135 Okay. Yeah. Okay. But like the, I know, yeah, the M, what's it called, the 9130s, yeah, those used to be like all the way down to $79. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember those. I remember they had like two for one. Yeah, they, they had the Bogos. Yup. Yep. Yeah, that big five, man. I, I looking back, I should have bought all that shit. You know. Well, you know, back then though, with Mazins, actually still even, yeah. you buy one, you get the second one free. If it's a buy one get one, not it's not guaranteed that both will work or either one will work. Yeah, you get like parts gun. Pretty I much was just and, very lucky right? <laughs> that mine works. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the M44 too is a little bit more sought out uh, over right. the other ones, and 
Um, any of you guys out there that have an M44, they, they are worth a little bit more than the, the standard Mosins. And yep. They're, they're, they're good carbines. It has one round that always works. Right. At least one. Yeah. <laughs> the bayonet. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, tell that in a police report. Right? <laughs> right? Okay, that's bad. <laughs> so, um, first time gun purchasing. Uh, we get a lot of first-time gun purchasers here at, here at Control Pair Munitions, and I'm sure other stores do too. Um, most of the time when you guys are going, uh, I would definitely always recommend, for example, uh, looking at other stores. And, and the reason being is not everybody's going to have everything. Not everything's going to have everything. And not everybody's going to have everything. Nope. Uh, you're going to see different selections at different places. Sometimes you'll see repeats. Sometimes you'll see a couple of the same gun on the shelf at the same time. Um, sometimes you'll you'll see um, a, a wide variety. Like here, we get a lot of used guns because we do consignments. Where there's some people who are like, "Well, shit, I haven't seen that in 20 years or whatever it is." Right. Like, yeah, it came in last week, so it's the first time I've seen it. You know, yep. <laughs> uh, especially because you know, shit, 20 some years ago, I wasn't really buying guns. You know, right. I, wasn't, I wasn't born. Right, you weren't born yet. <laughs> so yeah, you was couldn't buy guns. 2002. I oh my! I was a I was a freshman. Yeah, was, yeah. two years in old. high school. So yeah, I graduated high school, but it I couldn't. I was still living with my. No wait, shit. Two thousand two. I was living. I was in Cali, and then I moved out here in two thousand two. Right after that, so. Um, but I was living with uh, my aunt and uncle, and I I don't think it would have been okay with me bringing a whole bunch of. It wouldn't have shit. jived, huh? No, no not so it. much. Yeah. I, I had a tool addiction problem at the time too. Well, you know, so, you were a mechanic, so yeah, yeah. So I had I had other other issues. Snap on, I know how much you spend there. Oh my God! Don't tell, don't yeah, don't tell his wife. Yeah, what? Uh, yeah. What? Shh. Mom's the word. She, she'll snap that off. Oh, right. okay, my bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway, <laughs> um, definitely recommend when, when you go out and you look. Um, we we again we get a lot of wide variety of people in here, and, and they're usually looking for a first-time gun, um, especially within the last two years. Uh, COVID was a big ramp up on first-time buyers. Whew. Yeah. And, and again, there, there's still a lot of people that have never purchased a gun before. And they, they see stuff on the news like, oh, well, I don't need a background check for a certain gun, or I only need this for whatever. Like, yeah, no. Uh, you need a background check in every firearm, regardless if it's at a gun show or not. Mm-hmm. There's no gun show loophole, um, especially here in the state of Nevada. We, we there's no private party. Uh, uh, we could go in back alleys anymore and and do those. Right. This doesn't happen anymore. You know. Uh, does it happen? Probably. Probably. The bad part is, is those people get caught, and it, it makes us look bad mm-hmm. being being uh, normal gun and, and law abiding citizens. So those people make us, you know, make the whole industry look bad eventually. Um, some gun stores you're gonna get different feels for, you know. You're, you're gonna you're gonna have some to where. Uh, you ever been in a gun store where they're all commandoed out? They're all like, yeah, well, look at this gun. I don't think so. No, never, never I'm like lo- that. I'm, I'm loyal to CPM. That's why. That's why. Ah, oh, got you. Bullshit. Thanks, fam. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. I'm going to go buy strike from somebody else. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't recall. Chinese shit. So <laughs> you've been in stores like that, though. Oh, my right? God. The, the gun show or gun store commando guy. and Yeah, dude. Yeah. The best. You know, it's like, you know when there's a dip imprint on the back pocket? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get the best experience from some of them. <laughs> right, right. And, and a lot of times, too, they you don't get a lot of uh, good information. And sometimes you don't know the questions to ask. Right. So that's some of the things we're going to talk about tonight, too, is questions to ask. Um, right, okay. Sorry, Luis. Luis brought this up. Good good point. Um, he has nice hair, by the way. Right. I'm glad you like it. So uh, <laughs> black powder guns. Black powder guns are not actual firearms. Uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, you don't need a background check for that. That is a good point. I did not bring one of those over here for that, just for the sheer case of not 
not an everyday type use. I have never used one. Yeah, I've used Greg's. That was as far as I went with that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it was a 50 cal. Did you get to wear a tricorn hat with it? No. I'm just joking. Right? <laughs> right? So, uh, black powder guns, yeah, you don't need a, a background check for those. Is it just for the state or every state? As far as I know, every state. So I could send it to a California resident? Yes. We have done that before. Right. Sold right. them a Winchester one. Right. And, of, and it's legal. Yeah. So, because it's not designated as a firearm. Yep. So it's not serialized. Or it's anything. not serialized. They have no. their own internal factory serialized, but that's yeah. A, you know, that's qual- their quality control process. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Right. So it, it just depends on, I guess, how you look at it. But yeah. ATF at this point in time does not determine them as a firearm. Right. So they are perfectly legal to buy. So I mean, I'm not gonna go sell it to a 12 year old or some shit like that. Yeah, you, know, you got to do your due diligence still. <laughs> but you know, yeah. You as a salesman or the gatekeeper. <laughs> yeah. So no, that was a good point, Luis. Definitely rec- uh, appreciate that. But yeah, so first time gun purchase. Though, I, I don't think that a lot of people are looking for muzzle loaders. Um, and the main reason being, a lot of times you're looking for a specific purpose. And the, most of the time, right now, is, is going to be like home defense and different stuff. So when you're, when you're going and you're looking at different stores, definitely ask questions. One of your questions is going to be, Hey, what do you recommend for a first time buyer? What do you have? Not even just for special or sale. Now it's always good to have a good price, mm-hmm. but sometimes you do get what you pay for. Mm. Okay, you, you can buy a two to three hundred dollar gun, but it may not function as well yeah. um, as what you may get with a little bit more of expensive gun. And we're gonna talk about those type of guns here. I actually, got a, a little mm. pile of guns next to me. I miss those Cobras. Right. Those were worse than high points. Yeah, yeah, the Jimenez's and, the <laughs> and all that other stuff. Um, so, yeah, those were cheaper than that. Those were like $100 guns. Right? Yeah. You're um, right. Yeah. Because I think it sat on the shelf at Machine Gun Kelly's long defunct gun store. It was like the, on the shelf for $79 brand new. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're like does it run don't know <laughs> right. right yeah you don't know so you, you need it and then by then it's probably too late anyway so get different opinions from the people that are there um what happens a lot of times is we have people that my dad told me to come in and this is the kind of gun i need or my boyfriend my my husband uh friend. a friend of it, whatever it is and it doesn't have to be a woman or man or whatever it could be whoever. They're like, hey, this is what I saw. Uh, this YouTube channel I watched, this is the only gun that they, they ever recommend using. They, you know there's other YouTube channels, right? Mm. But at the same time, not every gun's meant for everybody. So definitely get different opinions. Uh, you know, we might have a different opinion than other people. You know, right. here at this store. Uh, we sell stuff that uh, is sells here in our area um, that also that work and, and work well. Uh, have good warranties and different stuff too so um we try to look at that as an aspect not so much like uh having a whole bunch of high-end guns or even a whole bunch of low-end guns we try to get a mixture of everything Mm -hmm. uh but also functional guns so when we do gun purchases you know jonas you even ask me a lot of times hey should we get this and it's usually a joke you know like uh hey look they have these i don't know we'll just throw kimbers we don't order cameras, but we could use that today. <laughs> Are they even on the catalog? They're not distribution. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm thank so God. Sorry. Right, me too. Yeah. So, um, mm. there, there, there's going to probably be some camera fans out there. Sorry. Um, but, you know, it, not everybody's. Pre-2000 Kimber is, is different than post-2000 yes. Kimber, guys. Yes. So, Kimber is had a time. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh <laughs> So third owner since the 2000s, right? Early 2000s, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah so uh, they don't really hand make everything. They have the the high price yeah. for the quality still, right. but the quality's not there anymore. Have a nice shine. Right. So it depends a on nice the, finish. Too. Depends. Yeah. 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 Uh, we had that that one guy brought in a brand new 10 mil, and um, it it didn't work. It didn't chamber. <laughs> it didn't do anything. He just bought the damn thing, and uh, the whole barrel was all wonky. Really? What? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, one eight hundred Kimber. So we had to send it back for him, and it works, you know, now. But yeah, they had to do a whole bunch of work to it. 
<laughs> you know, and uh, just quality control is not there anymore. You know, and it sucks because it was a good brand. It really right. was. You know, and it, and it sucks that they, you know, it was gotten like that. And anybody from Kimberly's listening, you, you know. So, <laughs> um, I, mean, I have no shame saying it. No, I get it. Because that's the thing. And, but that's the other thing, too. Not every gun, again, is for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, they, there's a whole bunch of different people that make 1911s. Yeah. Um, different 1911s are going to work different than others. You know, you have your high-end 1911s, you have your low-end 1911s. Mm-hmm. People talk shit on Rock Islands all day long. You know, they're a little looser of a 1911, but they work great. Very accurate, right. very functional. Um, will they uh, outrun or, or outwork maybe some of the higher-end ones, like a Wilson? Probably not, you know, over the longevity. But there's probably a couple that will. You know, they're, they're, they're good quality guns. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the thing, though, too. You know, ask a difference. Uh, hey, I'm looking at this particular 1911. Well, hey, you can save a little bit of money. And get like the same gun, but shoots and it works, right? And it's more reliable. So always ask, um, ask questions. So there are also some stores too. Uh, like for us, we're not commission based. So here, I don't do any commission for any of the guys. So they're not like trying to sell you the most expensive thing. Uh, all our margins are the same. So even if we were, it didn't really matter. You'd still be pretty much making the same on each thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but we don't push for sp- particular things, and there's reasons we don't do that. We want you to get the gun you want, and the gun that you think is good for you. We can only help you with that, and, and that's the thing that sets us a little different. Um, so definitely get look at different opinions, uh, get different ideas. It's not a bad idea. So when I said like, if your spouse or friend or whatever was like, this is the only gun you ever need, you know. Um, it's bring it up like hey this is what I got told was a good gun I'm like well it, it, it is if you're more of an experienced shooter or if mm-hmm. you don't mind spending eight dollars a round you know or whatever like a Smith & Wesson 500 <laughs> or something right. you know like this is the only gun I need like what, what are you doing home protection for you and your fucking neighbor street doors down you know because the only thing that's stopping is the third fridge <laughs> but um, you know it, it's a little overkill uh, especially for home defense. 301 mag. Yes. Right? Uh, AR-10, 301 mag. It's a 10-inch barrel. <laughs> it almost made me throw up a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. So, um, big part is is putting it in your hand. So, for those of you that are listening to us on, on our podcast mediums, um, we are again live on YouTube. Check out our YouTube page where you're actually going to see the guns that we're going to be playing with. We already made sure that they're empty and all that other fun stuff for any of the YouTube or people that are like, yeah, safety. So, uh, we already did it. Appreciate the concern, but we checked. So, uh, we did our due diligence for that. Um, so putting in your hand, making sure it fits good in your hand. If it doesn't fit good in your hand at the store, when it moves and shoots, it's going to probably feel like crap, you know? So that's a big thing, too. Uh, people are really big on safeties. Right. You know, there's nothing wrong with safeties. If you want a safety, get a gun with a safety. You know, I prefer not having a safety, and the reason being is that's one less thing I have to think about. Right. You know, I, I want to, if, if somebody comes in at the bump of the night, especially for home defense, I don't want to have to think, like, Oh, shit, what gun did I grab? Did it have a safety on it? Did it not have a safety on it? Right. Right. Because sometimes I might sleep with options. Not saying I do. No. But I have options. Yeah, I Right. (laughs) Right. There's like five. There's a few loaded guns next to my bed, you know? So (laughs) I don't want to have to think about it. Right? So um, safety-wise for me, I don't like it. But if you want to have a safety, that's fine. But you're going to have to just train with that, you know, and go with that and use that. Um, but, yeah, big thing is make sure it feels good in your hand. The gun I'm holding right now is a SIG P320 M17. It's a large gun, you know. And for some people, it might be too large. It might be too big for them. Such as myself. Right. You yeah. know, you, you got little hands. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're also like this tall, too. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Compact model. Compact, yeah. yeah. Subcompact. Exactly. Uh, I Miata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
it's, it's a big gun. If you have big hands, it fits good in the hand. It fits good in my hands, you know. Um, but that, that's the thing. I also have like a dozen of these damn things. So, I mean, a couple. Of the same family. Yeah. Ish. If you have right. the same model, dude, they'll be like, what's wrong with you? Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, they have different different versions of each one. Um, but, yeah, if it's too big for your hand, look at a different gun. The other thing is, 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 is can you manipulate the firearm? Can you push the magazine release without having to twist your hand? Um, can you rack the slide comfortably? Can, so can you move the slide from the forward position all the way to the rear position easily? Uh, can you hit the slide release? Can you can you pull the trigger? Because your finger reach the trigger. We have that right. too where customers are like, I can't reach any of the controls. Well, this isn't a good gun for you. Right. And we'll tell people that too. Like, this is a good gun, but it's not the good gun for you. And, and the reason being is, I'm not going to sell you a gun. You know you what? Right. That, that reminds me because what was the number one model that everyone came barging through the door asking for at the height of the pandemic? You said Glock 19? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Glock 19. It's like, yeah. and I still remember that one guy, biggest guy I've ever seen, probably seven foot at least. Uh-huh. And he's like, I've been told that I, I that I need a Glock 19. And I'm like, sir, you should put out your hand. Yeah. Let me put mine against it. No, you need a Glock 21, bro. <laughs> right. You need something a little bigger, buddy. <laughs> Because when he put his hands on the Glock 19, his bottom two fingers hung off. Right. Right. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Huge motherfucker. Yeah. And that's the thing. Glock 19 is a great gun. It's one of the most sold guns in the world. Yeah. And, and uh, throughout the, all the generations. Uh, so I, I brought out a Glock 19 for this, too. Again, if you're on YouTube, you'll actually see it. Um, it's also empty. Uh, this is a Gen 5 model. So that's the newest generation. Uh of Glocks for the nine mils anyway. They just came out with Gen five forties. Yep. So not that long ago, which was kinda cool. Well, it's September I think. Yeah. Right. Um so they they need to hurry up and do forty fives. So I could upgrade my, my twenty one. <laughs> and then and then get like a Glock twenty or Glock forty. Dude I hear it's gonna be like tail end of twenty twenty three to when they do that. Yeah, well yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um but yeah, this is a good model uh, Glocks, um, a lot of people love them, a lot of people hate them, and it's going to be like that for every gun company, you know? Um, I was talking crap on uh, Springfield earlier, you know? Yeah. But I'll, I'll talk crap on everything. And, and the reason being is not every gun's made for everybody. And there's certain gun or certain things that uh, I don't like about certain guns. And there's certain things that other people don't like about certain guns. Get the gun that you want. Don't just base it off of everybody else's opinion. Or color. Or color, right? So we have people like, well, I want that color, you know, and uh, or I want that gun because it has this on it or that or it looks pretty. Okay. Right. Now, okay. It's cute. Right. Or it's cute. So I brought a cute gun out, and by we or me, I mean they did, because I asked for it nicely. So this is a Cerakoted Canic or Janic uh, TP9 SE Elite. Now, this is the, what, 1776? Yeah, We the People Cerakote uh, that I got from Davidson's. And very cool gun. Uh, very nice gun. Comes with a holster. Comes with a bunch of other stuff in the box. Um, and a really good little concealable gun. But, you know, again, it's pretty. So is it a good first gun? It, it might not be your first gun. Um... It, it, it might be your, your good first gun for you, depending. The thing is, is they're not the person. If you're in it for home defense or for defense purposes, they don't care what color it is. They're not gonna be like, "Oh, where'd you get that?" You know, right. like, "Oh, that matches your shoes," or 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 oh like, God, "It no. goes right. It goes with your eyes." I I can't believe that you know, <laughs> it, it doesn't work that way. So you're like, "Oh shit, that's a fucking gun," and sometimes even with a different color gun, they might think it's a fake gun. And then can come towards you, which we're going to get into that later, training. Uh, if you're not ready for that or mentally ready for that, it, it might be a bad thing. So there's nothing against bad or, or colored guns. We Cerakote here soon. I've been saying that for a while. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you can always paint your gun. So if you wanted a different color, you want to do something cool with it, there's nothing really wrong with that. 
Um, now, legality-wise, depending on what you put on it, it might be bad. Um, that WikiLeak that just came out, uh, this is a terrorist crime. Because uh, it says We the People on it. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, that one I remember now. Yeah, it has the We the People insignia on it. So, um, this gun by itself is a, is a, a part of a terrorist organization. Yeah, it's the flag. Right. Uh, what else is on there? So, you know, pretty guns. It, it, they have their place, and I have pretty guns, too, and, and whatever else. But um, as for, like, a first-time gun, it might not be a good gun. A lot of people, um, my first gun, I didn't want it to be a Glock. And uh, the reason being is everybody had Glocks. They were very trendy. Um, but after buying my Beretta PX4 Storm, where I couldn't find a holster for, where I couldn't <laughs> find magazines for, where I couldn't find sights for, where I couldn't find anything for. It's an ugly gun. I'm sorry, It, it is a horrible gun. I heard it shoots good in 9 mil. Keep it. You know, whatever. I, I don't know what it looks you like. You know what it looks like? Ugliest thing it's, you'll ever see. Yeah. It's, it's got a routine anti uh, fucking barrel thing. It's flat in the front with a rounded back. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a triangle shape looking thing. Yeah. It looks like a Maybach, but less ugly. Yeah. It's a little like a high point. Okay, I'm sorry. Kind of, yeah. An expensive high point. Double action. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Almost every cop in L- in California that's ever carried one in 40 says that the 40 shoots just like a normal 9 because of the rotating barrel. Yeah, they don't shoot. So, <laughs> uh, horrible gun. <laughs> and that's why I don't think they even make it anymore. You know? Did they really stop it? I don't know. I think I saw them in distribution oh, for geez. a compact 3-inch. I really hope they stopped a couple of their guns like the Pico and the Nano. Those were horrible guns, too. I think they finally did. Yeah. Because the APX carry superseded those. Okay. Well, that yeah. was... Damn, man. What? What? It's not the, a bad the, gun. The carry part's bad. It's not a bad gun. Yeah. It's just low capacity for 2022. It's almost like the 503. Oh, the, the forgotten... The little f- uh, 509 yeah. subcompact thing? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And it also comes with a built-in laser sometimes. Yeah. Which, the getting... Fl- yeah, which getting yeah. to the battery compartment is a... <clears throat> yeah, you gotta melt the sli- uh, the frame to do it. Mm. it. It makes no sense. It doesn't. Well, then again, FN knows exactly what they want to do. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not an FN fan, so, when right. it comes to handguns. FNs are good guns. Yeah. And, 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 again, that's your preference. Yeah. And, and they, that's why they make so many different types of guns and so many <laughs> different manufacturers is because of Jonas. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but not everybody's the same. Not everybody's hands the same. Not everybody likes the same thing. Or yeah. even does the amount of research like Jonas does. Now, there's nothing wrong with FN as a company or anything. They mm-hmm. actually make the majority of the guns for pretty much every military mm-hmm. uh, out there. So uh, there's reasons for that. Uh, yeah. They're they're great quality guns, but yeah, they're not for everybody. Like I like my 509, but there's a lot of people that don't like their 509s. Yeah. You know, uh, I would like a fi- FNX forty five tactical. I want mm-hmm. the LS Edge. Right. Only reason I think it goes well with a Chevy. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, because it's LS. <laughs> yeah, you like that, <laughs> Bruh. With an edge tuner. Oh, oh yeah, America. Okay, so, bad, right? guys. <laughs> So, you know, you brought up a good part is, is, is how it looks. So a lot of people want to buy guns because it looks pretty or it looks like this or, you know, whatever. It looks it, like from a video game or a movie. Right, right. So, yes, video game guns. Oh, yeah. Right. The 5.7. Right. I can't reach any of the controls on a 5.7. Yeah, it's a huge gun. Yeah, but yeah. I can with the Ruger 57. Right, the Ruger 5.7 feels yeah. really good in the hand. Now, mm-hmm. the new 5.7 looks really good. Oh, the MRD? Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. it, looks, it looks amazing. Now, we haven't had one of those. Probably won't see one of those for like a year or so, but, you know, whatever. No, I think it's in distribution. Is it? But I didn't say that. Okay. Damn okay, it. good. I gotta see. So, <laughs> no, the 509's a great gun. What are you talking about? Luis is asking if the 509's a good gun. And then, yeah, so, so a lot of people are asking for the 19 MOS. I think some people thought about that again today. But they're I, not available. I got one today. Yeah. yeah, they're not available. Oh, no, I got a question on the 365 uh-huh. macro. 
Okay. Which the picture was literally just leaked last night. Right. Not even officially by SIG. It's like, you're going to call me on a gun that's not even on the catalog yet. Dude, it's I get those all the time. Yeah, I was surprised I didn't get one on the shitter this morning. Right? You know? No, I get it. So, I usually get, uh, backstory, I usually get emails or, or texts, like, early in the morning going, hey, do you have this? Like, when the Smith 10 mil came out. <laughs> do you have one of those? What? They came out with a 10 mil? You know? <laughs> and then, like, the 32010. Uh, yeah. Hey, do you have an X10? What the hell that is an thing X10? is cool. Okay, yeah. I want to see that in person, but you never see it. Exactly. You know, it wasn't even on distribution yet. It still just says coming soon. I oh, think on RSR. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, so, yeah, no, the 509 is a great gun. I, I love my tactical. I had a, a generic one. I bought a tactical one from Doc. That was, was beautiful. Yeah, I love yeah. that gun. That gun's at home. So, uh, but, yeah, a lot of people come in, too, like movie guns. Um the Spaz 12. Well, there's the Spaz 12, right? Oh, yeah, man. but not a lot of people know what the Spaz 12 is unless they've seen Jurassic Park or Terminator 2. Right. Um, or Call of Duty. Yeah, or yeah. It's in Call of Duty? It's in Call of Duty, but Which I don't think one? they call it a Spaz 12. The new one, Modern Warfare. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. yeah. Um, My computer can't run it. My old computer. So sorry. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, what's it called? P30L. So, John Wick. Okay, John Wick 1 had a P30L in it. And I don't know how many people came in looking for the P30L. I'm not a fan of the P30L, though. But then again, I don't like long slides. Yeah. So. It's a good gun. It shoots yeah. great. It does cool stuff. And then when they realize it doesn't come with the really big uh, Counterweight. compensator yeah, yeah, on the front, like, yeah, it's, that's extra. It's like, how much is that thing? About more. the same cost as the gun. Right. <laughs> does it make it shoot better in your head, maybe? Yeah, it actually does help. It does help a little bit, but it, it's, an added, it's an added price to it. You have to, you have to factor in. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sure Taren, Taren Tactical, sold a lot of guns after John Wick 2. Oh, yeah. You know, with all the Terran guns, the the Glocks, and even the the uh, Benelli M4 variant that they have there as well. So all of the guns in two were Terran Tacticals. Mm -hmm. uh, three was not. Three, I think, had a variation of, of different uh, models and brands. I don't remember the shotgun that they finally used to blow off everybody's heads with the slugs. Because uh, the regular rounds, that, oh, they're all bulletproof guys. I don't know if you guys seen that movie or not. John I'm not going to lie. No. I only watched the I first one. So. What the hell? you never seen John Wick 3? I've only watched Her the first one. Bedlam? Her villain. I don't. When they I come into the hotel at the bottom? Oh, yeah. You got you to gotta watch that. Because that's when he gets um, kicked out. Kind kicked of out. He had, he had to lose his finger to go kill the guy, the manager guy. I always he decides that not part. to kill the manager guy. No, yeah. that's the only I part I saw. Oh. Was the only guy's finger cut off. I think I watched half of it. Oh. I yeah. didn't watch full of it. Oh. John Wick Four is coming out. Jo finally, but next year. Well, how long is how long has it been? Three years then, give or take. Oh yeah, because it, it the last one came out during the pandemic, right? Right before. Oh, right before. Right before. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Bedlam. Just checking. So it's been too long I since the last it. John Wick movie. So just right. saying. But yeah, uh, movie guns. We, we get that all the time. Like, well, I saw it in this or that. Uh, the Punisher 1911s. Okay. Uh, the you know, I never got questioned on those. No? No, I never get. So they get the last Punisher movie. Is how old now? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 2013 maybe? Yeah. I'm sorry about that. But like it. the... Um, uh, MP5. I get a lot oh, of Oh, yeah, MP5s. MP5. That's just a staple for anyone yeah. that's watched an 80s action movie. Right. Especially with Steven Seagal. <laughs> Oh, Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God. Um, the Tommy. Yeah, Tommy guns. Hey, you know, those are good guns, though, too, but are they practical for They're a first-time gun? They're heavy. Yeah, they really are. Oh, heavy. my God. Yeah. So, not really a first-time gun purchase. You can't uh, parkour with that gun. No. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get that. And the thing is, though, too, a lot of people's education for guns is TV. TV movies. Right. Um, and and that, that might shit. My, most of my life growing up was that, you know, because I lived in California for a good part of my life. I didn't have access to any of that stuff, you know, or anything. Right. So, you know, that, that's that's just how it is. Um, 
So here we're talking about reviews online. Uh, not a bad idea to do reviews, but don't base your purchases just off a review. Um, every gun's going to have good and bad reviews. Y you're never going to win. So not every gun, again, is for everybody. Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of people. So right now I'm holding the Canik TP9 uh, SFT Nette. Um, this particular gun is a great gun. Um, a lot of people will say this is a really cheap gun. You know, it is an affordable gun. Mm -hmm. It is an affordable gun. It's about the same size as a Glock uh, 17. Um, it might actually outshoot accuracy-wise a Glock 17 just because of the action and everything in this gun. Uh, is it as reliable as a Glock 17? I don't know because they haven't been around as long as Glock. Right. They, they, don't, they also don't have the aftermarket support and everything else either. But like Glock, for example, Glock Perfection... The, the, the reason it's perfected is you just spent another thousand dollars in your gun making it better you know and just remember we had that customer of yours before yeah. he just brought in his Glock 19 that he's been having extraction problems right but that's the thing though too exactly. and I think that's grip issues so after Very working possible. with him for a little bit there, there was some issues with him how he's holding the gun okay so when he was holding the gun I, I actually gave him some felt recoil and his whole hand his whole arm moved and he was a he's a big guy. Yeah, he's a big guy. Right. Yeah. And so I did, I mean I just hit the damn thing and he was he, he moved. Like, so he was limp wristing. He's limp wristing. Okay. So he he is causing that. Unfortunately that that's what happens, especially with a lot of newer shooters. But like I was saying to him too, we have I've had guys that have been shooting for like twenty so years where they they just bought a gun and they're like, Hey, this gun's doing this, this or this. How are you holding it? You know, and they'll show me like, Okay, well, try this and then they'll never have a problem again or like well can you go shoot it and i'll go shoot it i'll film it i'll even shoot it we can't yeah and it, it doesn't jam or have any issues i don't shoot the same ammo they have so sometimes ammo is a big thing too uh which we'll get to um and stuff like that but uh yeah it, it you know when you're you're looking at guns don't just base off reviews don't um because you're going to see again a lot of bad especially about guns that are in a no-name brand, so like Sig, Glock, so on and so forth. All right, you're gonna you're gonna have that. That's just how it is. Um, see if you could go to a range and rent one. So there's uh, here in Las Vegas, we're fortunate. We have a lot of ranges mm -hmm. that you can actually rent guns from. Some are more expensive than others. Some of them have time limits. Um, so be careful of that. I don't recommend the time limit ones, mainly because I don't want to pay extra for time. Yeah. You know. And sometimes they won't even let you pay extra for time because of business. They'll just they'll kick you out. So that's not good. But go to a couple gun stores, write down some guns, take notes. You know, uh, do a little bit more research on it. There's nothing wrong with doing your own research. Um, go and try it. So if it feels good in your hand, hey, today I'm gonna go try a Glock 19. Today I'm gonna go try try a P320 Compact. Hey, today I'm gonna go try a Five and nine compact. Uh, I'm gonna go try a Beretta 92 FS. You know, um, each gun's gonna shoot a little differently. You know, even though they're all the same caliber, I just named all those nine millimeters. Right. They're all gonna shoot different, and especially for you, they're gonna shoot different because they're gonna feel different in your hand. The controls are gonna be different. The slide, the action's gonna be different. Yep. Whether it's double single action or, or even striker fire, uh, depending on the striker fire. <laughs> They call it double action. They get the 320. They call it double action, mm -hmm. which I still don't understand why it's double action, but whatever. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, go out into a range and try it, or see if you have a friend that will take you out to go try it. You know, hey, didn't you have this gun, or do you have this gun? You know, especially if you have a buddy that has those guns. Yeah, can we go shooting sometime? I'll buy the ammo. You know, get you lunch or whatever. You know, sometimes that's cheaper than going to a fucking range. Oh yeah. You know. Um, here in town, and I don't know if they still have that or not, but Green Valley Range for me was the, the better price one to go try out uh, firearms. Because there was a lot of firearms I tried before I bought. Um, nowadays, I mean, I usually just end up buying them, and if I don't like it, then I end up selling them. <laughs> so It'd be like that. It is, it is. It is kind of like that. Or it's like, eh, you know what, I'll, I'm going to get this one because I've been wanting this one for a while or whatever. So... But see if you can go try it. Try it before you buy it. It's not a not a bad thing to do that. Um, kind of like 
the like if you go to a uh, uh, go buy a car too, don't settle. Don't like you know what, this is the this is the gun. I just need a gun, or this is the price range that I'm gonna be looking at, and it's the only gun I'm gonna find right now. Don't settle. Right. Don't just like get it, cuz. Wait. If you're dead set, yeah, shit. Let, let's just say a Taurus G3C. Okay, if you're gonna say, you know, I'm dead set on getting the Taurus G3C based off of I shot, I liked it, I liked how it feels in my hand, um, I love the reviews, you know, uh, whatever else it is, you know, you see nothing but good things about it, and you enjoy the gun. Again, you enjoy the gun, and it works good for you. Buy it. There's nothing wrong with that. If your friends are like, oh god, you got a Taurus, you know what? At least you got a gun. Right. You got something. Okay. And yeah, the the people watching are like, wait, he's a SIG guy. You just said Taurus? Yeah. It's the gun that you want. Right. It's not the gun I want. You exactly. know? Not saying anything because that Taurus tactical we had was actually kind of cool. I wanted to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you it know? Was, it was. It was kind of cool. So, the you know. Secondary guide rod for suppressed duty. Dude, what? that impressed the shit out of me. It really did. Who does that? Nobody. Right. FN. <laughs> nah. Yeah. It does come yeah. in a guy rod yes, now? Sir. The really? FN 509 tactical and the oh. FNX 45 tactical. Oh, shit. So that's they probably where different. they learned it from. That's they probably from. did, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. So, good times. Makes sense. Right. So, the Taurus came up for a little bit, which is good. Um, they, they have felt better the last couple of uh, Tauruses we got since they moved to the States. I really like the G3 line yeah. in general. The G3s, I think, yeah. are really nice. Um, and, and, again, we're not going to try to, hor- uh, like, I don't want to talk shit about any gun company. You yeah. know? I mean, shit, my high point. Everybody makes fun of high point. My high point runs. Yeah. You know? You know, it's a blocky turd. Yeah. But at the same time, it works. It works fine. It's actually more accurate the way you shoot. So, which is sideways. <laughs> yeah. So, um, See, I yeah. missed the TH9. Yeah. The TH9 com- was a good gun. They never... I know they technically still make it, but we're just not getting them. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I the TH9 was a good gun. That was one of their Taurus guns, so you guys know. It was a double single action, decocker. Yep. 17 round, I think, 9 mm-hmm. millimeter. Great gun. Uh, we had a guy that had, I think, had buyers in Taurus because he had the compact one. Yeah. Like, it doesn't work. And I proved that it worked in the shop. Well, I didn't shoot anything for anybody that was wondering. Uh, but there's some function checks you can do. I went out and shot it, and it shot, and it actually shot enough to where I wanted one. Yeah. You know? And, and again, I I don't like Tauruses, and it's not anything against the brand. It's just I don't like the way they feel. Yeah. So th- that's the thing. is It's not for me. It might be for you. If you like that gun, get the gun. There's nothing wrong with that. TX-22 shoots great, by the way. TX-22 is a great 22. Yeah. Yes. If you can make that fail, there's something wrong with you. Right, right. Or yeah. you got a really shitty 22 in. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. So good. That is a good twenty-two. That's a good. That's a good one to bring up. Uh, but yeah, don't settle for the guy. Don't be like, well, this is the only one I could buy. You know, uh, can it for the price? They start around four hundred bucks. You know, you, you brought up that SF. So this is the yeah. uh, SF model. Stands for striker fire, right? So <laughs> I think I don't know. It probably does. I never looked it up. Is that the eighteen round or fifteen round? So one? seventeen round or eighteen round. Okay, just check it. So, uh, every can it comes with a holster too, uh, which is cool. Comes with holsters, comes with uh, two mags, comes with a really. I don't like the gun lock, but um, the gun lock that comes with these I think are pretty dumb because that it like, keeps everybody from using your gun. I can't use it as a Christmas ornament tree ornament. No, no, no yeah, you can't even. That, that's why I like the cable ones. Right. I don't yeah. even like the cable ones, but th- that one's worse. Well, you. you when you run out of ornaments, you just hang up right? your gun locks. Or a bike lock. <laughs> yeah. I need a bike lock. Here's a gun lock. So, uh, but yeah, this is a great gun. This is 400 bucks. Right. This particular model, like 400 bucks. Yeah. And they have the, the Series 1 versions of these. Are they still around? Like 350 I think. No, they I were haven't low. seen them because the price They were less. Low. Were they? No, I think they were at 380 Really? They were at 280 when they had them. Oh, But that's, wow. what, two years ago now. Three. Okay. Three now. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, that that's the thing is, yeah, that was, and then they everything kind of gone up, too. Oh, yeah. So, I haven't looked for those just because they're not readily available. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, this gun for $400 is a great option. 
You know, you don't have to go out and buy a six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollar, thousand dollar gun. You buy a four hundred dollar gun and be be perfectly happy. But at the same time, that gun is heavier than most guns. Mm-hmm. Uh, it does have a lot of top heavy weight on it. It is a little harder to rack. It, so pulling the slide back to the rear mm-hmm. and chambering uh, around, it is a little harder than other guns. So it may not be the gun for you. Make sure it's the gun for you. You know, before you, you're like, oh, this is the only one I can afford right now. Let's get it. You know? So, yeah, don't the do that. Worst way to sh- buy a gun. Right. Is please. <laughs> Literally. Right. I learned that lesson. And one of the lessons that, a lot yeah. of lessons I'm going over is stuff that I learned. Yeah. You know? Don't just get the gun because you, you thought it was cool. Don't buy it because you, you thought it was cheap and affordable. You know? <laughs> Come on. You can pop there. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, lay on the guns, you weirdo. There you go. Right? American right. dog. He's armed to the teeth. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so, um, purposes of the guns. So, why are you buying the gun? So, don't just, again, we, we talk about not letting your, your, your spouse or your friends or whatever kind of, like, you need a gun for this. Uh, or you need this type of gun for this or whatever it is. What is your purpose in buying this gun? I, I, I ask that all the time. We ask that all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, here at, at Control Premonitions, it's, uh, hey, what's the gun for? You know, and, and most of the time it's going to be, it's for home defense. Yep. You know, we don't ask that so we think that you're going to go rob a 7-Eleven or anything like that. Right. If, if we think that, we're probably not going to be selling you that gun. You know, and if I say probably, we're not going to sell you that fucking gun. Okay? <laughs> so... The thing is, is it, it's usually for home defense, or like you know what, I need a new range toy, or or I need a um, I'm gonna do competition shooting. I want to start doing competition shooting. I need something to kill conceal carry. Uh, what what's a good conceal carry option? You know something like that. So home defense wise, we get that all the time. Depending on the shop, the first home defense gun they're gonna recommend is something like this. So again, if you're looking on, or if you're listening to us on like Spotify and Google and whatever else. I'm mm. holding a Maverick uh, or a Mossberg Maverick 88, which is similar to a uh, Mossberg uh, 500. Yeah, that's a big um, tube. It is a big tube. Um, it is a pretty long tube, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. One, two, much? five shot, six shot. Shit, what size is that? 18 and a half inch barrel, 20 yeah. inch barrel. Oh, that's inch. a 20 inch barrel. Is I it think. 20 inch? <gasps> yeah. This is 20 inch. Oh, so I think that's, I think that's a seven shot tube. Is it? Okay, wow. That's oh, that's damn. pretty long, man. Uh. <laughs> Shut up. So, uh, <laughs> this one particular one can chamber up to 3-inch shells. So, if you're going to be shooting bigger shells, obviously you want Ow. a 3-inch shell. Right, it's going to suck. Uh, most commonality is going to be 2 and 3 quarters or 2.75-inch shells. Um, but uh, a long time ago, people said that all you needed to do was... <laughs> and people would run out of your house. You know, not so much anymore. You know, people are coming in. They're they're high on whatever the fuck they are on. Come in teams. Yeah, they do. They come in teams yep. now, yep. and they, they feel in, uh, uh, invisible, invincible. Yeah. Invisible, invincible, and at the same time, behind a closed door, they might not hear that. Right. Right. And you could be on the second floor. The other thing I don't like about that is you just gave your position away. Mm-hmm. You know, as a tactical thing, like oh shit, they have a gun over there. They're not going to wait. They're going to start shooting through that door. Right. You know, you, your wife, your your husband, or whatever, it, you're, you're, you could be injured. You could be killed because of that. So, you know, you got to think about that. I don't recommend that. Two, at 2, 3 in the morning, especially if you haven't had training on this firearm, um, you might jam it. Mm-hmm. If this is the first time you ever chambered this gun, you took it out of the box, and, you, you know, you're, you're shaking, you're nervous, because you're going to be... And you, you chamber around. You might not chamber around. You might be jammed. Right. And next thing you know, you have a paperweight. So what now? What are you going to do? You know? A lot of people are like, well, I'll just go around my house and, and search for them. Have you been trained for that? You know? Have you been trained for that? To go around the house? To what? To go around the house, clear house? No. Have you been trained for that? Not sufficiently. Not officially. Not sufficiently, right? Yeah. Yes. Not officially. Not officially. You know, but if you did, you'd do it that way. So, uh... Wait, what? Sideways. Oh, gotcha. Remember, that's how he got his name. Yeah. Was clear in the bathroom. <laughs> sideways. 
So, um, it's a great gun. Shotguns are a good gun. They're a very universal gun. Um, I would use mine for a barricade weapon. You know, this is my... If I needed to go to my kid's room or whatever and get them out of danger, I'm probably going to be taking a handgun. Actually, I'm going to be taking a handgun. Mm -hmm. main reason being is I can control the firearm and somebody or something Mm -hmm. with my other hand. Okay? I could be on the phone with 911, say, locked in my room with my handgun, and telling them where I am, where they are, so on and so forth. Um, With a shotgun, I'm going to need two hands. So... Uh, sometimes too, pump might not be your best option because you're going to have to remember, Oh fuck, I got to pump this thing. So I just shot around. What do I do now? Right. Right. Also shotguns aren't like in the movies or, well, the best almost picture is, is like video games where it doesn't do as much depending on how far you are. You have to be fairly up close depending you know, lethality range, depending on the round, is actually pretty far. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, did you train to shoot that far? Did you actually aim? Because people yeah. feel like, I could just shoot this straight up, and I'll still hit Jonas. Yeah. Hallway you know? clearers. Right. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You know, you have to aim this gun. The spread on this gun at a couple yards is only going to be I mean, less than my fist. Exactly. Less than my fist. So you're going to have to make sure you train. Uh, a semi-auto would probably be better. Bad part is a semi-auto can be very picky on ammo. So mm-hmm. if you're looking for a shotgun for home defense, probably a semi-auto. But make sure it runs. Make sure it works. And lots of states have regulations on the capacity on specifically semi-auto. Exactly. Yeah. So most commonality is going to be a pump gun. So great gun. It's a great tool, especially for home defense. Bad thing is it is long. Okay, this thing, 20-inch barrel with the stock and all. I mean, this is a this fit does not fit in a door frame by itself. No. With your shoulder, this is not going to fit in a door frame. Uh, your body is not going to fit in a door frame. So being able to manipulate it, either going into high ready or over your shoulder, Ow. it's probably, yeah, if I shoot like this, it's going to oh. hurt. It's going to suck, right? So probably not the best idea. Um Definitely get some training on it, you know. And we're going to talk about training a lot, with, especially with your, yeah. you know, your fire. So uh, this particular one is very inexpensive. It is uh, two sixty five. That's know? it. That's it. Jeez. So uh, I sold one right before the podcast. Just checking. Right. I took it out of the box, so we yeah. could do this. And he's like, "Hey, what's that?" I'm like the uh, shotguns we just got in. So I sold one before. Yeah. Before the podcast, we got so, two more. Yeah. Right. That's so, one of them. Yeah. Well, no, this is the last one. That's the last one? Because the other one you sold to the guy. We're holding it for him. Oh, yeah. Wait. That's why we ordered these. Did I order sell one to him? Yeah. You sold one to a guy, and then I was like, don't wait, these are now. only this much? Let's get a couple of them. <laughs> I don't remember now who I gotta it go was more. now. Right. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we'll have to find them later. But they just <laughs> came in today. Yeah, right. So, they just came in this afternoon. We haven't had time to do anything. Tan guns shoot better. Right, tan guns do shoot better. <laughs> right, we talked about color earlier, right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, tan guns do shoot better. Um, so, yeah, purpose-wise. So, uh, so your home defense again. Um, well, what's better, a rifle, shotgun, or handgun? It's a gun you have. Right. Okay? That's my feeling That's on the it. best one is the one in your possession. Yes, and, and the one you've your, trained how with. How your house is built, too. Right. So, um, an AR, right? Great firearm. This particular one's an FN. It's an FN-15. Right. Um, great firearm. Uh, again, 16-inch barrel, buttstock's fully extended. It is a long gun. So going around clearing stuff and everything else probably isn't the most, most best in a home. Um, it's going to be loud. It's oh. going to be really loud. It's oh. going to suck shooting pretty much any gun inside your house, right? Um, but think about that. It, you, you're going to have a cartridge that's going to tear through walls. You know, or if you're living in an apartment, a condo, townhome, something right. like that. Uh, even in your own home, you have kids in, in the other rooms. It's going to eat through sheetrock like no tomorrow. It'll blow out your lung. Right. It'll blow, well, it's 22 <laughs> caliber, so it won't, right? Oh, okay, just check it. So, <laughs> right. Back check. Right. right. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, 
wise men say, or a sort of wise man, not a wise man. Can't put his fucking own jacket on. Anyway, so yeah, <coughs> did you see that video? I did. Yeah. Try, oh my god. Is it, yeah, can, just waving in the wind. So a lot of people say an AR-15 is a great gun for home defense. Now, do I have one of these for home defense? Hell yeah! Is my first <laughs> choice? No, it's not my first choice. And the reason being, again, it is my house. Okay, where I have kids, um, the kind of rounds that I have, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna suck. It's also huge, right? Yeah. Even in a pistol format or in a short barrel rifle format, it's still a big caliber. Um, right. My ideal for, and this is for me, and this I'm not speaking for anybody on behalf on anybody or anything like that. I love my handguns as a home defense gun because I can put hollow points in it. Hollow points are going to stop uh, one, hopefully stop a threat. Mm-hmm. Two, they should stop within some sheetrock. You know, yeah. they they should absorb swell and slow down depending on the cartridge though or not really so yeah the cartridge but also um the brand some yep. brands they uh fragment or they split apart right. um or, rip rounds right those are, <laughs> don't buy those and don't use your buffalo bore hard cast in the indoors either right so um thinking about that too you, you know a handgun for me is a better choice Again, I can control the firearm and whatever else I need to do. So it might just be you at home. You might not have a spouse. You might not have anybody. You can have call 911 while you're in control of that firearm. You might have to be that person. You know, you are your own first responder until somebody else arrives. And it's not guaranteed they're arriving. All right. So uh, food for thought, you're your own first responder check out the videos especially recently with people that, that have had that happen mm-hmm. we're like yeah cops didn't come you know oh, yeah. so they're not obligated to come it says protect and serve right yeah but yeah if, if they choose to and I'm not talking shit on cops no I get it no. you know I'm not it, it's it's the, literally, literally in their job description you know I think some, uh, a cop told me about that that they're like yeah we, we're not obligated like what? Since when? Since forever? What the fuck? You know? Right. And um, so that that to me that sucks. And you hear that a lot by a lot of people, especially on mm-hmm. YouTube, big time SF guys. You know, and yeah. they have their own channels. They talk about that all the time. Um, you know, John Lovell talks about it a lot. Lots you know? of times they tell you to, oh, just make a police follow a police report the next day. Right. The following morning. When yeah, it's depending open. on what. Yeah. Yep. North Las Vegas, you can shoot your, your, your gun, and they won't even come out unless you hit somebody. Right. Right. Uh, Damn. Did you, did you hit anybody? Rip that bad? Yeah. Wow. They, they have so many shootings there that they get called out to, and so many other calls that they get called out to, and they're so short-staffed, Jeez. they don't go to shootings. Word? This unless somebody gets impacted. This might sound bad, but it sounds like a good test fire. <laughs> That's joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. We're on YouTube, Jonas. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Right? So sorry. Right? So sorry. And, and you know what? If I get fact checked for that, I have actually been verified by police there and by uh, <laughs> commissioned officials there. So, like, um, the interim mayor. Uh, <laughs> That's horrible. Right. And, and, and they agree. Especially, like, the, the, the mayor there or the interim mayor. I don't know what he is anymore. The hell happened to their mayor if they have an interim? I don't know. Nobody, okay. nobody really knows. It's North Town. Exactly. They're yeah. kind of weird anyway. It's the throwaway of Vegas. Right. Literally. So right, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Uh, that, was, that was bad. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, he's, a, he's a gun guy, and he, he says the same thing. And it, it's, it sucks, yeah. you know? So, um, yeah, definitely figure out what you need to do for that uh, for your purpose. Don't just get a gun because, one, you think it's cool. One, guns are cool, okay? But at the same time, it's a tool, and it should yeah. be used as a tool. I have tools that I have used for specific things. I have these tools. They're meant for specific things, not just fun or even for a defense situation. Right. I hoped I never have to use it for that. Not like if I have a hammer. I hope to use a, use a hammer if I need to fucking use a hammer, right? Right. It's the same thing. It's just more common use of a tool. 
This is not a common use tool for home defense. It is used for home defense, right? These are used for home defense. But any gun owner, any law-abiding citizen gun owner in this country, okay, in their right mind is going to tell you that they hope to never have to use this. Many have trained, and they might have the training for it. But I, I don't, I don't look forward to going out and, and using it. You know, in that in that situation, I hope to God I never have to. Right. So, yep. and that's the thing, and that's yeah. So, anyway, that's gonna get into a different topic. <laughs> um, do 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 do. Ah, revolvers. <laughs> hey. So okay. J frame. Right. Hell shut yeah. Up. So oh, uh, hey, whoa 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 whoa. <laughs> so no no you're good. Uh, yeah. You, you, revolvers are okay, but the bad part of it is we get people that come in saying that <laughs> I need a revolver because so and so said so most of the time, and um, you know it, it, it's great for home defense. One, yeah. most of them average is five five rounds, you know, especially in a uh, three thirty eight or three fifty seven. Yeah. You know, you, you get a six or seven rounder or two. But more commonly, you're going to be finding five rounders. So five rounds. If you've never trained with that weapon, you know people are like, oh, "I only need one round." Okay, one. How many people are coming in the door? Right. You know, it's probably going to be more than one. If you've seen anything of any of the break-in videos, especially in, as of late, in the past six yeah, they years, literally, right. yeah, they roll deep. I would right. say typically three to five is what they usually roll with. Right. Yep. And they're coming in. Now you have one round per person. It, you're gonna throw rounds. You're you're not gonna be accurate, you know. No. And, and God, hopefully you are. But you should have something else. Also, too, reloads on a revolver. Oh, slow. Right. You're not Jerry Michelet. I'm sorry, but you're, it's not gonna happen, you know. But my my padre did this, you know, or whatever. You know, that was a weird voice for normal people look for revolvers. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, they're, they're, you're not going to do that. You're just not. Uh, they're, we get that, well, I want a revolver because it is a jam. They jam. Okay? They jam. They have issues. Um, we've had a, a couple revolvers just brought on consignment. We had to take off consignment because yep. they were malfunctioning. Okay? Uh, not correctly. So we're not going to sell those because of that. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, they they can have issues. Anything mechanical can have issues. So if anybody ever tells you that revolver is very easy to use and it doesn't jam, they probably were born a long ass time ago when that was the only option that you had. <laughs> Semi autos have come uh, above and beyond. Right. What they were. Yeah. You know, a lot more. Back in the day, your revolver carried six rounds. Your only other option was a 1911 that carried seven. Right. Or eight. It's, yeah. It's Government only model. a one round difference. Right. Well, it's and come yeah. a long way. <laughs> 45 has won two world wars, though. <laughs> what did some nines carry now? Well, it's a <laughs> SIG 22 rounds? 21 in the big 9 yeah. mil capacity? Yeah. Yeah, now, now that's a little bit more than six rounds. Right. So, for me, I like to carry 9mm, mostly it is capacity, yeah. but also shot, shot on target. So, I can control a 9mm a lot easier than I can a 40. Than I yeah. can a, a 45, depending on the 45. Some 45 shoot really good. So, but 9mm um, capacity. You yeah. know, the, the 320, the M17, for example, I was playing with earlier, has a 17 rounder and two 21 rounders. So, yeah. people are like, that's excessive. Who, do you, who are you going to go up against? You don't know. Right. Right? I, I've what learned, if you miss? Huh? What if you miss? What if you miss? Exactly. What if you miss? Especially a moving target. Right. Moving targets. Well, I'm just shooting them in the knee. I want to see that. I really do. Especially if you've never trained before. A knee, the average size of a knee is, is about the size of my fist. Right. Imagine it doing this shit. You know? And everything else. You're not going to shoot them in the knee. This isn't a movie. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry. It's just real life isn't that way. <laughs> Luis, carry five revolvers and you're good. <laughs> oh man, you just, just joking, yeah. You but... duche. <laughs> 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 uh, 
right? That was a cool rig, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, man, um, I, I like having the, the more the merrier. But yeah. at the same time, you know, sometimes it, it, it can get a little overboard. I don't want to say like carry a drum, you know, with you or whatever. Uh, an extendo. Yeah, an extendo clipazine, you know. So, I do. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> so re- everything can jam. So that was a big thing on revolvers. Don't just get one because you get told that it's easy to use. Um, it's it's not. It's not single action. So like, yeah, I'm gonna get a single action revolver. It, you're you're not in a, a 1960s John Wayne film where right. you're going pa 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 pa, and it you can reload it really quick. It just doesn't work that way. Right. They don't reload quick at all. And no. So. Um, we talked about background check a little bit earlier, did we? Did we? I don't well, believe so. That's later. Yeah, we, I think that's, that's like later. One of the first things. One of the first things. Right. So, but we didn't really go into it, anyway, uh, did we? Because mm-hmm. you talked about gunshot loophole. Yeah, we did talk about that a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, any anytime you guys are purchasing a firearm, and once you decide you, you you're dead set on it, you know you're gonna have to do a background check. So making sure you can pass a background check for especially. It's the FBI version, but qualify for the state and the gun that you're getting in your state. Uh, some of you guys don't live in, in some free states or even free countries, depending on where you're listening. Mm-hmm. Um, so you may not be able to have that availability. Shit, they just they outlawed the gel shooters in Australia. Oh, I that think. was a long oh, time ago. It was a year ago, wasn't it? Uh, the, I think well, New York outlawed New gel York, shooters. That yeah. just said, yeah. That's the most That's recent right. one. Yeah. Jeez. Which is dumb. Dopey. So evil. Right. They're Those evil gel shooters. Gel, yeah, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, you got <laughs> me wet. Splashing on my face. Right. <laughs> shooting me. What the fuck? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so sticky. So my bad. <laughs> you're the wrong gel shooters. <laughs> so. Hey, yo. <laughs> Yeah, I just got, got him. him. <laughs> I don't want to do podcast no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, make sure you're gonna have to be doing that so you guys know. How about age restrictions? Age restrictions. I'm glad you brought up that. That's been a, a law that's coming out, or they want to come out with, is to raise the uh, age limit of any firearm to 21. So long gun and handgun. Oh, right. that's not right. Right. Yeah. But, and it's probably going to get us kicked off YouTube, you could be any age, like four, and decide um, what your pronouns are. Right. Right. So it's okay to decide wh- who and what you want to be. Yeah. But I'm not saying a four-year-old is going to buy a shotgun, or should buy a shotgun. It's probably not a... I mean, we're not in the 1800s, 1700s anymore. Yeah. That was actually common back then. You know, you believe it or not, you, 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 it was America. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're going to need this. We're going to shoot some grape shot today. Right. <laughs> we're going to get some food because uh, we need it because we're, we're dying. But, um, you know, it's a little it's a little different. So that's horrible to raise it to 21 because... Age of what's a legal adult in the United States? You could join 18. the military at 18. You could join the military right. at 18. You could get your own apartment at 18. Right. So, if you're going to home defense, what the hell do you do at 18 right. if you can't own a firearm? Kitchen or, knife. Yeah, right. Right. Hopefully, you're not in England. Right? You can't even buy kitchen knives in England. Those are illegal. Yeah. Knives are illegal there. Unless kitchen you get the knives. blunt for. Tip yeah, knife. you gotta go blunt tip. And you still gotta, like, whatever. They have reasons why you need it. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty yeah. dumb. So, That's another reason why we don't drink a lot of tea here. <laughs> so, and we drink coffee. Fact check. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't fact check. It's called 1776. Motherfuckers. Dump that so, tea in Boston Harbor. Right. Yeah. Fact check. Yeah, but it did happen, so. It did happen. It did happen. <laughs> So, but yeah, no, they're, they, you, that's a good question. They, they are a lot talking about bringing the, the age limit up, um, which I'm sorry, I, I don't agree with. You know, I I would rather it stay the same. Some there, states are already like that. Some, well, 
21? Yeah, California. California's 21? Yeah. Everything is 21 now. Right. They're, oh, they, so cigarettes and uh, alcohol too? Yeah, yeah, in California. 21. So how about like renting an apartment? Because it's, it's, you know, le- again, you're a legal adult. What do you do now? Luisa is have a spear. Gotcha. Right. You can't be a tactical spear, though. Or have more... Arrowhead. Th- arrowhead, yeah. Yeah, it can't be a... Uh, it has to be a blunt tip. You know, it can't be actually functional. And it has to be registered with California. <laughs> you have to register. <laughs> I'm going to have my three-piece blowgun. <laughs> That's illegal in California. Wait, what? Blowguns are illegal. When did that become illegal? Forever. Are you serious? Yeah. Bro, I used to be able to order that in Smoky Mountain Cutlery. Dude. You remember that catalog? Yeah. <laughs> Do you go to Indoor Swap Meet here and buy it? Yeah. You know? Exactly. Um, we know the guy. Right. <laughs> yeah, he came in here and bought shit. I love him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> slingshots are illegal there. I think Luis are also put that on there. Are you serious? Slingshots are illegal there. Slingshots what? being outlawed. Yep. What? Yeah. When did this happen? A long time ago, dude. Holy crap. Yeah. So, um, it, it's it's bad. You Damn. Know? Especially in certain parts, uh, certain counties, states, yeah. you know, cities. Uh, a lot of stuff you, you can't have your rights, you know, as an American. It, it sucks. No and now they're trying to take it away from everybody. No wonder people are running amok in SoCal and Bay Area. Right. Because you can't. Uh, yeah. They can. Right? But, yeah, so uh, age restriction, they, they are looking at limiting the age, um, which is stupid. Uh, that's one of the bills that they're trying to pass. Uh, I don't think that one passed. I don't think that was part of 1808. I think it was a different one. We'd have to find out from our buddy Don. Yeah. Yeah. So. All the stipulations. Right. Um, but, yeah, uh, home defense-wise, you know, if you're allowed to have a fire. Making sure you have home defense ammo. Don't get used training ammo. Don't buy the cheapest stuff you could find. One, make sure it runs. Make sure it works. Right. So take a couple rounds. Take it out to the range. See if it cycles. You know, there's a lot of 380s out there that are very particular on ammo. So the ammo you just bought may not work in your gun. That's a good point. Good point. Yeah. 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 You know, there's some guns at 9mm because the chambering is so tight. Or the feed ramp's a different angle. That it may not feed that particular ammo. So, you know, make sure you test your ammo. Make sure your gun works. Make sure you keep it clean and lubed. Steel you know? case ammo. Yeah, don't buy steel case ammo. I mean, it's... Okay, I'll say don't. Because we that was the only thing we could ever sell for a while. Some you know? guns work Some guns work with okay it. with it. AK. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. But... There's a there's a time and place for it. Not for your home defense ammo, though. You know? Um, is it okay to train with? Uh, if that's the only thing you have. Right. it's the only thing you can find, then yeah. But, yeah, for home defense, not so much. So, home defense, make sure you get home defense ammo. Uh, hollow points. Um, it's a good idea to ask your uh, local law enforcement. You can't. You can go ask, ask uh, go to a substation, ask, ask a cop, hey, what kind of ammo do you guys use? for your cells, you know? Spear. Yeah, here in, uh, for Metro, they use Spear Gold Dot. Yep. Can you find Spear Gold Dot? No. No, not really. So, Sig Sauer makes a good ammo that's very similar to that. Their ballistics hmm. are about the same. Their V-Crowns? Yep, the V-Crowns. So, that's a, a good one to also get to. Uh, Hornady Critical Defense is pretty good. And I Critical Duty. And Critical Duty. Well, Duty is a little bit more umphier, yeah. so it could actually over-penetrate depending on what yeah. what's going on. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yep. Because I got the duty. On jet, 24 grain, plus B. Yeah, the... In your, in your Glock? Ooh. Yeah. So Glocks aren't rated for plus B. I swear. Right. They're not. Right. Uh, You're lying. No, no. that's serious. Hot oh, shit, right? But! <laughs> it'll work. Yeah. Just... Change your guide rod. Right. Yeah, it just makes your, your guide rod weaker. And, that's why I only yeah. run aftermarket guide rods. Oh, yeah. my bad. Yeah. <laughs> you can't Glock perfection you after you make it perfect. Right. I didn't know that. Hey, man. You know, it's a good gun. It's just, it's not, re- read your owner's manual. Yeah. When you buy your gun, yeah. it comes with a book. You know? <laughs> right. Don't throw that shit away. 
they'll actually tell you what it can or cannot use or what they recommend. Yeah. They even, sometimes even brands don't even recommend brand names. Just remember, Plus P is a thing that's mostly American. Europe or does plus not P care. Plus? Yeah. Europe does not really care about Plus P. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> we gotta we gotta be more powerful. <laughs> Yeah, talk to your local law enforcement because um, mm. uh, they might use particular ammo, uh, yep. even for like say their shotguns or ARs and stuff like that too. So they are going to be supplied. Well, most of them are going to be supplied their own ammo and different stuff. So unfortunately, you may not be able to find that particular kind of ammo. But at the same time, you could do the research and see what's equivalent, and, yeah. and then try to get that as well. Um, and, and I'm gonna hit the training thing again. So train. Train, 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 hit, train, train. So when you get a firearm, there's tons of places to go train with. Uh, we offer training classes here. Uh, wherever you are, they, there should be training classes. Um, shit, they even have training in California, you know. Right. Uh, it's odd to find that, but, you know, it's probably like in a, a Craigslist ad or some shit. That's where Brittany got her start in training. Yeah. So, yeah. So. That's interesting. Um. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, federal law enforcement, 124 grain. Yeah, works good in that. As long as it's rated for plus P, Louise, you should be fine. Uh, if it's not rated for plus P, please switch. And, and it, it can break parts of your gun. Uh, can it blow up your gun? I don't want to say yeah. Can it though? It's an explosion in a in a metal device. That's... It can happen. Anything I'm kind of curious. Are high point C nines plus P rated? I don't know. The slide probably would break in half. Because <laughs> I don't. Not seeing anything it's bad just about a the curiosity. Gun. It's just they're they're made out of zinc and it's a little softer of a metal. Right. Uh, I don't know if a five nine could shoot plus P. To be honest, I don't. Five nine, plus yes. P. Yeah. Five nine is you because can. um because cool remember that was one of the requirements of military of uh, the. Yeah. The program, yeah. So, so I mean, I don't. Nineteen X should be able to, or should be not. Maybe Gen Fives are or plus P rate. I haven't looked because uh, I know that a lot of stuff changed with the barrel. Yeah. Uh, the rating of the barrel, um, because in the Gen Fours and Gen Threes you can no. shoot reloads. Yeah. So Gen th- Fives you can, which I mean they just changed the rifling. They might have changed maybe the uh, material of the, the barrel. I don't remember. Yeah. I never looked at the the metal work of it or not um, or what it's made out of but uh, plus P wise I, I don't I don't I don't buy buy um, yeah read the manual at least uh, yeah. see I just said that um, HK's can run plus P right because they're HK HK runs everything HK eat ammo <laughs> um, <laughs> so I don't buy plus P ammo and, and the reason I don't buy plus P ammo it costs more well there's that yeah. It's harder to find too, Fall. Yeah. and uh, I don't know what gun I'm going to put it in. Scorpion, right? Right. Fifty that round drum. Is? is that your critical duty? Yeah. Is that defense? Yeah. Duty. Yeah. 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 Are, my... are they silver casing? Yeah, they're duty. Yeah. So that's the other difference too: is the critical defense is uh, brass, not the nickel. Mm. So you know. But yeah, there's a, a really so if any of you guys actually want to see that on. Um, uh, huh. I have to look that, Brett. Um, there's a really good video from, uh, um, oh my goodness, Midway USA. I think that it was uh, several years ago they did a video on Hornady, critical defense, critical duty. Yeah. Nothing's over there, buddy. Um, come here. Nothing's over there. Come here. It's the ghost. Because he's barking behind us, not at the door. Dude, we had a he's woman come in to talking about a at ghost. That door? Mm-hmm. You're okay. Come on. Huh? We had come some r- random woman saying that she, there was a. She felt a presence in here. Oh yeah, and, and the like, safety what? glasses fell down a couple times. Yeah, it's like yeah. What? <laughs> so Brett, that's a good question. If uh, okay, the defense that should be. I could have swore that the the duty was was nickel. And the defense was brass. So, let's see here. Glock, Gen 5. Holy crap. 
Gen 5. Uh, plus P. Oh, I think it's. Uh... Frequently asked questions on Glock. Uh, do do do. Internet. And the upcoming answers are going to be related to actual Glocks. Right. Hopefully. <laughs> Not clones. <laughs> okay, so uh, Glock says that they um, recommend using ammunition as manufactured that meets SAMI or other industry standards. While some plus P ammunition meets these guidelines, plus P plus usually does not. Plus P plus you never see though. No, that's usually no. Corbon that makes that stuff. So and my my Google's isn't loading. Oh, yeah, I think that's literally the last time I saw a plus P plus was Corbon and Buffalo Boar. Yeah. So you know, those. The ones that are uh, rooted in like down south hunting places. So what's Sammy? <laughs> Sammy, I don't remember the abbreviation of what it is, but it's kind of like like DOT for like cars, making stuff. That it, it's uh, required. It, it's like their own safety type stuff. Let me see that what meets it says. Requirements. Ackerman stands for Sporting Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute. At least your Google's working. My my YouTube even took a dump on me. Are you serious? Yeah, it did. Got a new phone too. It's probably Android. Android yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I again. I I'm an equal opportunist hater. Use this one. No, I'm good. Well, mine is ancient Android, so you don't want to touch Apple, huh? No. You know they stopped no. updating my phone and the firmware in 2019. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can we start a GoFundMe? For what? For <laughs> when his birthday comes, we could all. Oh, like, for him to get a new phone. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, Possibly. I like running classics. Right. Look, I work. I carry a Gen Three. Yeah. <laughs> well, so so Brett actually brings up a good point, and he says because it's a Glock, he doesn't see why not. A lot of people, like like you were just saying, you didn't know your Glock wasn't rated for it. Make sure though, too, and make sure that your ammo is, is equivalent to what they say. You know, so it's not a bad idea to go on Hornady's website and see if they do fit that. You know that need. Um. So a lot of people, I was the same yeah. way, you know, because like, oh shit, nine millimeter. Yeah. But then again, how many people do we get come in here though too? And not saying anything about you, Brett, um, but uh, a lot of times people will just see nine mil, right? And and think that you know it fits everything. We'll yeah. have nine mil Browning, for example, which is three eighty. And nine Largo. Yeah, nine Largo. Uh, nine millimeter curves. Yeah, remember that with the nine star Larko. arms? Uh, yeah. Nineteen eleven knockoff. Oh, it yeah. was in nine, nine Largo. You're like, what the hell is this? Is this just a misspelled Luger? Right. No, it's a real thing. <laughs> right. We thought it was yeah. like <laughs> Luger in Spanish. <laughs> right. Right. The first full size handguns. Okay. Yeah. Was it seventeen or forty five? So Seven, what, I just years. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So that's a compact. Yeah. That's what it is. So I looked up on the alternative. You know, Romero brought a Glock clone. The shadow systems are all plus P rated. Okay, that's good to know. So the MR920 series, yes. Okay, okay. So again, I mean, you have what like a like a box of twenty or so like that. It's probably not a bad idea to you know to have those, mm -hmm. and it's not going to fail on you. But over a period of time, it can. Um, cause you to have issues yes you know so it looks like our video feed went down really is it still recording yeah oh no wait no it, it took a shit is it still recording mm, yeah but in the top it says reconnecting oh. it just reset it I just noticed that oh wait it says starting and it started it again Wait, what? So the live started again. It's at 8 seconds now, but it's still recording, and now we're in 32 minutes. Everything good now? Okay. I mean, it, we're good now, but... Uh, 
There's like, I guess, a whole new stream. A whole new Did we lose world. everybody? <sighs> Nine viewers. Fact check. I already know it. What? I have a feeling we got fact checked. Right, we got fact checked. Impossible. It happened the other day. Like For what? Second, not like third, fourth stream. You remember when they kicked us out midstream? Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's the same thing. Huh. Well, if we are still alive, um, we're having technical difficulties. If we're not still alive, we're at least getting recorded. Yeah. <laughs> and then exactly. I'm still putting this up to YouTube. Which is so. per, per, that's fine. Right. Um, um, we're here to answer all your just questions. Again. Yeah. Yeah. It keeps on resetting. Well, remember, it is raining today, so, apparently. Is it? According oh, yeah, to the yeah, weather. Yeah. Well, according to the weather outside? report. I can see the, the glare. The I can't see Jack, but. Is that what Buddy was barking at? Is it raining? Yeah. No shit. Oh, so it's raining. So that means that LV, we are. Uh... Thunderstorms. So that that's what it is, then. We're, we're getting cut off on the LV net. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. Did I just right. low blow our LV net? Right, my probably. Bad, guys. Hey, I think we're back. Sweet. I think so. All right. It keeps resetting, LOL. <laughs> well, yeah, because Cheshire Cat, I don't know who that was. Oh, that's Jim. Is that Jim? Jim's Cheshire Cat. My two cat. favorite colored people in the world. Uh, Jesus. What? I don't know. It's okay, buddy. I have no idea. I don't it's know Jim. what Jim means. Yeah. yeah. Jim's weird. Remember, so, you can be remember, talking about buddy. the boss man is a card-carrying, real... <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, but yeah, definitely check and see. Brett, I hope if you're still there, we did look. It says that it is plus P, but in full frame gun, right? What? For the Hornady? Yeah. Yeah. So prefers the, full frame. Prefer, prefers. Oh, but wow. I think it's... Just it it'll run. It should be fine. Because I saw it on YouTube on a G19. Right. Uh, but so. Of course, super upgraded as usual. <laughs> right. Um, you know what, I'll yeah, do we're it. good. I don't know what's going on. Luis is asking to know if we're okay. Yeah, just keeps going out. We feel better when you're around, buddy. Right. <laughs> um... That's kind of weird. What? What's weird? No, uh, yeah, it keeps uh, on going out. Gotcha. So again, at least we're recording. Yeah. So if you guys are listening to us, you're like, "What the hell is going on over there?" Um, right. we, we, our interwebs are taking a dump. It's probably because of the weather outside. I guess it's raining. Yeah. So it, our radar is, is it raining hard? No. No. So it's just like a drizzle. It shouldn't be taken out of the radar dish though. Because well. it's radar. Well, then again, depending on how bad For it is. The thunder. Over there. Regular electrons oh, and stuff, remember? Oh, electrical shit outside, yeah. yeah. So, Damn. Can your phone do this? What? Probably if I use the weather app. Dude, I can hear it. Yeah, yeah that sounds pretty brutal outside. Right. Let, let me pull so, that up. Uh, big thing is, though, before before we end, is make sure you guys train. Um, when you get your firearm, learn it. Use it. Dry fire practice. Right. You know, dry fire practice is the easiest training you can do. It does not remove, replace training. Get training. Get physical training by a an actual trainer. Okay. Um, Plug Lenny. Huh? Plug Lenny. Right. Yeah, Lenny. <laughs> SRT training. Uh, right. They're actual trainers. Uh, Chapman. Chapman Tactical Defense. You know, we've had both of those guys here on the channel. Uh, both are good uh, buddies of mine. I'm not saying that they're to go to them because of that. I haven't had Brittany on here, but Brittany's a great trainer. Yes. You know, uh, especially for newer shooters. She's nationwide renowned, actually. She right is now, now. Yeah. yeah. She's doing really good for herself. Yep. Um, you know, uh, very excited for her. So, well, it's been more than an hour at least. The really? The says that one hour, 37 minutes, five seconds. Oh, okay. So, that's kind of weird. Um... I don't know if it's still live or not, though. It keeps on cutting in and out. So, either way, I'm talking to the recording. <laughs> I'm talking yeah. to something, I think. Right. Right. But, yeah, get training. Uh, make sure you guys are going out there and getting it. Because, it, again, if, if you don't know how to use a Phillips screwdriver, you're trying to use a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screw, it ain't going to work. 
Use right. a flathead screw and a flat Phillips screwdriver. It may work depending on the size of Phillips. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but whoa, whoa, whoa! That's I've done it before. Don't right, do it. Right, don't, don't do it. Do it's it. not recommended. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you should know how to use your tool before you use it, and you're only good about fifty percent of what you last trained. So if you last trained and you didn't hit the target once, oh god, you're half that good. Right. <laughs> It doesn't matter what kind of gun you have, how expensive it is, how how badass it is, who whatever it is, right? You're only as good as your training. Now, yeah, some guns can make you look like a better shooter because of the accuracy, the smoothness of the action, and, and everything else. I have some guns that make me look badass. VP9, right? The VP9 is really <laughs> so um, not bad. But yeah, uh, my 226X5. You know, some other stuff like that too. <laughs> the check was it checkmate? The checkmate. Right, I've never CC shot checkmate. it. How is it? It's amazing. It's amazing to shoot. Um, <laughs> but you know, at, at, is it a practical gun for like home defense? No. <gasps> yes. Right. It has a Seymour sight. Dude, I am not going to use that for home defense. Oh, it's okay. a thirty-five, thirty-eight hundred dollar gun. Just and, checking. Uh, yeah, no. Because that's the other thing, too. You, and I don't want to talk about legalities, Dude, but... Ooh, that's a good idea. What? We should put one of those optics on it, like replace the Seymour that's on there <laughs> with one that has Shake Awake. Ooh. <laughs> right? Full wick mode. Full wick mode. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, definitely get training uh, wherever you guys are and, and make sure you guys do that. Um, other than that, guys, um, definitely check us out. If you if you guys can't watch the full feed, if you guys want to listen to the full feed, I know a couple of guys they talk about listening to us on the way to work, which I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, thanks to Nordic right. Nevadan. Right. <laughs> one of his posts got taken down. Yeah, yeah, the one about his Palmer 80 frame. Right. I don't know why it was serialized. Well, right. I, mm. We get our shit taken down all the time too because we're whatever guidelines and then uh, oh because of controlled items or some crap yeah. but so, it, we, we're within the guideline it's dumb right? it's dumb but whatever um definitely check us out on, on our links if you guys are watching the recorded version of this um we're we're, we're everywhere we're everywhere now we're on twitter I've been trying yeah. to do more twitter stuff I don't even know how to work twitter me neither but I, I am, there's lots of cool pictures on there though right yeah. right a lot of cool pictures you might like on there, too. Yes. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and it does. Oh, how much? I agree. Right? Yeah, right? I don't even know how that shows up on mine. Like, I just started the store account. Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know how it works. Anyway, I'm trying to figure that out so I get rid of that. I have enough issues. I don't need that. To... Another thing in my life. So. Oh, that reminds me. Shameless plug to Heart Punch Munition. Yeah. Yeah, Heart Punch. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Get a good holster for your gun. Exactly. You know, definitely get a good holster for your gun. If you can't carry your gun, how how far outside the home is is it useful? Right. <laughs> right. So yeah, make sure it fits. At least if you're walking around in your underwear at home, right? Oh yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that earlier, Dalton and I, about uh, programming Alexas with uh, Roomba claymores. Yes. <laughs> Hell yes. So, it's always been a fun thing. Gel um, blaster ones, of course. Right. Yeah. Look us up on our links. Uh, we're live here Thursdays on YouTube. Uh, after this, I go home, and I, I cut the audio, I cut the video, and I make it a YouTube video, and I make it the audio podcast part, and an audio YouTube variant as well. So, if, like tonight, our live got cut off... Um, that's probably what happened, you know, or will happen. We'll, we'll have a recorded version. So yeah. another reason why I have backups for my backups. So. No, yes. I get it. Right. Right. Redundant systems. Right. Like World War One planes. Right. Yes. And uh, it's going to be another redundant thing. Definitely get training, you know. So um, look in your area, not just if you're in the Las Vegas area. There's trainers all over the place. There's famous trainers that go uh, nationwide. Oh, yeah. You know, and they do training. So. Masada Ayub. Right? 
Right. The, go. Don't get training from Detroit Dust, though. <laughs> just, just saying. Is just, he still around? I don't. I haven't fucking seen a video in forever. He's too busy training. He's yeah. He is probably in the Middle East. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I seen that that little girl has been doing it more than him. Yeah, than him. the little girl. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So unfortunately, she probably thinks all that stuff's real. I feel bad. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, coffee and guns or coffee and questions. Uh, one of these days, uh, we might have that. I don't know yet. Submit your questions, please. Yeah, send me questions. Yeah. Send me questions. Slide in the DMs. Right. Right. Send us messages on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Ask me questions there if you want. Yeah. Yelp. Yelp me. You know, I actually haven't logged into Yelp. I got a new phone. I'm waiting for my other phone to actually log into Yelp. Uh, they they only had a 128 gigabyte variant, and I they, you can't expand the memory anymore. Yeah. So. They have fixed the ones now. Yeah, they went more Apple, which I found kind of disturbing. I have a buddy who intentionally runs his YouTube channel on a S9 because he can do the pop out the you know yep. memory yep yeah so definitely pretty cool but yeah they don't have that anymore I'm waiting for the 512 version to come in so whoa that's huge yeah dude that's more memory than I have on mine with the pop out well dude I, right yeah let's just say it's full what and I just transferred stuff over and I emptied it before I gave it to them yeah. Is it because of video or what? Uh, I emptied that. Wow. That's just in apps and documents and stuff like that, too. Wow. Yeah. Well, then again, you got a lot of legal documents. Yeah, a lot of so. shit on my phone. I get it. So, um, yeah, coffee and question. What else am I forgetting? Am I forgetting anything? Nothing? The gaming page? Or... The gaming page? But we haven't been doing the gaming page, though. I haven't what really been you? gaming. What? You don't have the time. I've had the time. I just haven't felt like it. No, you don't have the time. Uh, there's I've been waiting. Whatever. I don't know what games you guys are gonna be playing. Warzone. <laughs> my my it computer works. Can't, yeah. It's only the other day, it didn't work. My computer can't run it, so yeah. sorry guys. Yeah. Yeah. Cthulhu wants to play with us. Yeah. Yeah. Him and his Xbox Series X. Damn Bala. Right? Yeah. So <laughs> but other than that guys, um thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all you guys, all the questions, all the uh, the comments in here. So yeah, Luis, thank you, sir. Uh, John, Brett, uh, Jim, I guess. And uh, <laughs> no, thanks, Jim. And uh, yeah, man, thanks again for tuning in. See you guys next week, seven ish. You know, right? Depending. And uh, stay out of the rain. Stay dry. Cool. Be in safe. some ways, that's good. And yeah, right. Yeah. Get wet in others. Better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to go. Love that. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>